Hello YouTube, GTA Show, it was a let's play. Part 57, in the last part, we did the um, puzzle with the um, candles. Um, the code is 12, 13, 11. We forgot to mention that in the last part because I talk about Pokemon too much. Sorry. Um, we're now going to search for the police station. All my games I'm excited about this year. Um, the new Zelda for the Wii, of course. Was I going to be killed? I, they haven't even got a name for it yet. It's just called Ze Le The Legend of Zelda. Oh. Nintendo, I've said it's going to come out in 2010. Although, when Twilight Princess was, was announced, the game took... Nintendo. Took like three or four years. You know, they, they announced it. They announced it, it when the GameCube was around. Yeah. It didn't come out till the Wii was out. Yeah, exactly. Although, you can actually get Twilight Princess on the GameCube, but the GameCube, oh, but the GameCube version, it's just as good as the Wii version, but in some, but the graphics they aren't as good, mm. and the um, but other than that, it's Still got that, Pretty much the same. Still got that bloody Midna shouting at you every five seconds. I like Midna. Why? I just do. She's she's a lot better than Navi, because she actually does something in the game. Oh, Navi does this. Hey, listen. Watch out. Yeah, but at least Navi doesn't ride you like a horse. <laughs> good point. Good point. I have to admit that. What do you mean Navi doesn't ride your horse? She hides inside your hat most of the time in the game. So? She's hiding. At least she doesn't sit on your back. Alright, alright. So, so I'm excited about the new Zelda game for the Wii. Um, the last game, well, I'm also excited about, um, oh, what's it called? Mario Galaxy 2 for the Nintendo Wii. Although in some ways I'm kind of worried about Mario Galaxy 2 because I'm hoping to God it's not going to be too similar to the first one because not that many people will buy it if it's just the same as Mario Galaxy 1. True. You know, so I'm excited about Mario Galaxy 2 but I have to admit I'm a little bit worried because this is... This is the first time Nintendo have actually ever released a sequel to one of their 3D platformers. Really? Yeah. Mario 64, on the N64, they announced a sequel, but they scrapped it. Hmm. Mario Sunshine didn't get a sequel because Mario Sunshine didn't receive much praise. Yeah, you don't go... A Mario game isn't about cleaning up graffiti. Mario game is about rescuing the princess and jumping on Goombas. <laughs> um, you missed. <laughs> so this is the first. This is the first time where they actually release a sequel of a, of a of a three D Mario game. Okay, there was Mario sixty four DS, which. Was a, it was a remake, not a it, it was a remake of the original Mario 64, and they added in 30 brand new stars, and four and three extra characters to play as, besides Mario, so... And it was a very good remake, but the controls weren't as good as the um, N64 version. Hmm. But other than that, it was better than the original. So, yeah, they're the games I am excited about this year. Um, although, if Nintendo's like A in the art, Zelda might not come out this year because Zelda games take a long time to make me more for not end up getting delayed. Sounds about right. Uh, yes, if you're wondering, I'm armed for war. Yeah, you got a boss to fight now. You got, you got to put your tiles back in the um. I'll save my game while I'm here as well. Yeah, you might want to do that. Mm. 
Just trying to think of anything else I want. I want to get this year. Besides those four. Is it? I'm thinking. You think quicker? Well, there are, there are two games that I'm excited about, but Nintendo's announced them, but it hasn't said when they're going to release them or when they're going to make them. What's that? Pikmin 3 and Star and the new Star Fox game. Yeah. Star Fox must be in his 80s by now, surely. Star Fox came out on the Super Nintendo. It's um, the first one. It's, it's the, the front of is about... 20 years old. Shouldn't he retire by now? Wasn't he sort of already a legend in the first one? You mean Vox McCloud? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'd like to see you in a Star Fox game because... Maybe a prequel where you play Fox McCloud's dad and have to figure out what the hell happened to him. He died! Yeah, no. Andros killed him! Where? Yeah. We could bring him back to life then. Andros seems to come back to life nicely. Well, cause a time paradox. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we have to not? we have to go in there and save Fox's dad so he doesn't, so he doesn't die for some reason. <laughs> Why not? Because time paradox is ripping, cause bad things to happen to the universe. That's why. <laughs> Says who? Says the space time continuum and Albert and Albert Einstein and several other scientists who tried to. Build a time machine and failed. Hmm. Oh. There's a left a, a memo from the chief there, which I really like. Really crap about. So. Claire. I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? And for about the fifth time in this let's play, she will bravely abandon her. <laughs> so, yeah, Nintendo they are making a new Star Fox game. From what I've heard, it's got co-op missions on it, so you can do missions with two people playing at the same time, which sounds like a good idea. Which might limit the number of uh, your allies asking you for help. <laughs> yeah. we got a squadron of the best fighters in the in the galaxy. Fox, help! Fox, help! Help, Fox! Help! Fox, need help! For fuck's sake. Ooh, screaming. Uh owned. Oh. Swallow it, bitch. Got me eye on you. What the hell's that thing looking at, anyway? Yeah, fair enough. Buggers off. So, yeah. If Nintendo gonna make a new Star Fox game, eight minutes. Mm. If they know me, I can use Star Fox game. I'd like to see one because the last Star Fox game, Star Fox Assault, was a really good one. But Star Fox DS, for me, it was a bit meh. Meh. A bit meh. Yeah, you know, a bit so average. Oh, meh. Not bad, girl. I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. You see, it seems very. Um, so, negative. Well, uh, I was going to say, um, it seemed very healthy having just deep throat of the tentacle. <laughs> you know. Upstairs, actually. In case you haven't already figured out, the monster that's been tearing my place apart is yet another product of the G virus. Oh, that's nice. Ultimate bio. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. End of part. Bye.